She's doing this slower. She's an entrepreneur, a grower. How am I supposed to rap like this? Up in public, I'm in Austin, Texas. And I'm doing it for the one overseas. I wanted to say bitch please, but not offensively. <laughs> Alright, podcast and stuff, we just started. Yeah. Who am I here with today? Uh, my name is Brent Epic, and I'm here in Austin for a program called Austria to Austin. Mm. And this is basically a startup program. They get like 14 individuals um, from Austria who are entrepreneurs and put them into a native hostel and they give them mentoring, training, a lot of networking, a lot of cultural activities. So yesterday we watched chicken shit. So that was the you chicken, chicken shit. You watched chicken shit? Yeah. What is chicken shit? Like uh, chicken or shitting. Oh, you watch <laughs> actual chickens yeah. take a shit. Yeah. Wait, that was an activity? Yeah, don't you know that? No, I don't. <laughs> they told me they told me that that this is a thing in Austin. Like I guess. chicken shit bingo it was, I guess. I guess. I mean, like, like, so actual chickens were yes. taking a shit and yeah. you just watch them like. Yeah. You have like those um, coupons or whatever and they, they have like a number on it. Yeah. And you buy them for $2 or $5. Yeah. And then when the chicken shits on the number you got, you get 150 bucks. So this is like chicken shit bingo? Yes. Google it. I guess. I guess. I guess I've been missing out all these yeah, years. Yeah, I'm so sorry for you. I'm sorry for me too. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> but I told you now, so yeah. Do the it. more you know, you know, <laughs> yeah. there's the stars. But I yeah, and, and I could tell from the way you answered this too. This ain't your first interview. You do a lot because you just want blot out. You know, you just, <laughs> you just want in it. But who is uh, who is Brenna Epic? Who's Brenna Epic? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, because today I had another interview with the World's Affairs Council. Mm. Yeah, and um, after that we had a talk with the other participants, and we're like, wow, we actually never pitch ourselves really. We just pitch like our projects and optimize it and make it the best pitch it can be. Mm. But we're so over overwhelmed with the question, who are you? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I cannot really, I don't have a clear answer to that. I just know that I have a passion for entrepreneurship, for singing, and um, that I'm happy to help other people. I like to motivate, to, you know, give back. And I don't know. Why, I why, why I singing? I have to ask. I'm a musician, so I got to sure. ask. Why, why singing? Uh, why singing? Yeah. It's just in my blood. Like, mm. I grew up singing all day. I was singing so much that my mama would tell me to shut up. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> okay, you sang too much. Yeah, yeah. And um, actually, that's not my voice. So <laughs> there's so much air conditioning in Austin that I really lost You're my You're kind of losing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. I don't know how the weather is over there, but it, it's hot. this is like hot all the time. Yeah. Like, even... To me, we had a, our first real winter, like last thing. And that's only because it was cold. And by cold, you know, it's not really cold. You mean like, yeah. But it was cold for like more than one month. Like I used to say like, just two weeks, just yeah. two weeks. And then right back to this, this t-shirt, you know what I mean? Well, in Austria, <laughs> it's cold the whole time. Yeah. And then there is like summer where you just sweat while existing, you mm. know? <laughs> and um, I actually like the weather in Austin very much okay. because I'm cold all of the time in yeah. Austria. So it's so, good to get away. Yes, I appreciate the weather big time. Mm. And that's why I got a little mad that the people have air conditioning that like it's minus 400 degrees. But it's the opposite of what you just said. Like it's that all the time. So everybody's tired of it. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> but like you could have like room temperature or like normal temperature, but not like you guys no, are sitting. No, we want it freezing. Yes, you we guys are sitting freezing. with sweaters and hoodies and whatever. Well, I'm not. You're I take obviously. cold showers. Yeah. I take cold I really do. You're, you're a gangster, <laughs> that's why. No, yeah. I got it from Wim Hof. I don't know if you ever heard of him. No, he's somewhere up there in the the north. I don't remember which country, like Iceland or Finland, Sweden, yeah. around that Who's part. That? But basically, he's a guy. Uh, the main reason I know about him because he does this crazy meditation, 
oh, that God. he could control his autoimmune system. Oh, crazy. Yeah, that's why I said that. I was like, I, 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 a year ago, I really wanted to learn about meditation and I got a, a four I like, right? Yeah. And I was doing one of the other three. But then I saw his and I was like, you're the only meditation promising me special powers. Yeah. So I'm going to do yours. <laughs> so yeah. that's the one I do. But part of the thing is like you do this meditation, which is like this breathing. It's like this hyperventilating breathing. Yeah. Um, and then you take cold showers. So that's why I even got into that was just because yeah. of that. Because I'm like, look, if you're going to give me a better immune system, I'll take it. <laughs> I heard that it's good. Like it is, everyone yeah. says that actually having a cold, like you don't have to have a cold shower throughout. Yeah, but it's yeah. important that you have like normal temperature showers and then at the end like a cold. So you know. before him, I was just doing like cold showers, but then he said the same thing. You don't got to do all that crazy shit, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just it, regulate yeah, yourself. Yeah, so you do like so. I go in now and I take a hot shower or the house I live in. It can't even really do hot water, so it's like warm. So it kind of makes me sad. Like I, I was staying here and they have real hot water. I was like just enjoying it. It was nice. Like I can get really? burned again. This is great. Yay. This is great. Yeah, freedom. But yeah, I do that. And then I do the cold. And I think because the whole point is, it's less that it's a cold shower and more that the the shock that your, your Body system receive. gets. Yeah. So making it adapt. I think that's what gives you the real or a boost to your immune system, yeah. whatever that may be. Yeah. So yeah, I don't even know how I got down there, but. I don't know, but it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. But but you see, that that's what the podcast really is. It's just that, the tangents, just diving deep into all I that. like it. I like it. So it is, uh, is this your first time in, not Austin, but like America or no? Uh, actually, this year is my first time in America gotcha. um, because I've been in Silicon Valley in February. Okay. I've been in San Francisco, San Antonio, San Jose. Were no, you were in San Antonio? No, it's not San Antonio. I, don't I was know like, why. I lived there. I was like, I, I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because you said it, and Maybe, now I yeah, see yeah. you, and that's mm. like, oh, San Antonio. You don't need to go. Don't worry. No. Okay. It's cool. Not <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I went there because yeah. I'm the head or organizer of the Entrepreneurship Avenue, which is Europe's largest student-focused entrepreneurship event series. Oh, man. Super long thing. Yeah. <laughs> but actually what we do is um, we're helping Austrian people and students to build groups uh, and then be a startup and mentor them, give them trainings, etc. And then at the end, they receive like a, I don't know what you call it. It's a, it's a huge conference where they can have like where they can listen to keynotes or go to workshops, etc. And that's what I organized. And I was searching for cool people who could do our keynotes. Mm. And that's why I went to Silicon Valley and we found a couple of cool people also like all around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what we did. So I was, uh, before I met you, I met a few of your friends and I was talking to them, but, but talking to you both today and the other day i feel like and then looking at the linkedin and stuff so are you like one of the leaders of this or something or you're like <laughs> right or what like creators of you're like one of the heads of this right or something or no i don't think that one can say about him or herself yeah that he or she is the leader of the group or creator well i, I but, not necessarily the group but i mean just talking to them it felt like they were more like what you were saying like the students and you seem to be like oh okay she's like maybe one of the I don't know, mentors or whatever you want to say, you know? <laughs> That's really cute of you. Okay. But they're, they're, I guess I'm wrong. I guess yeah, I'm... <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. Like, it's whatever you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Um, they're amazing people. They do such a great job yeah. with their startups and with their projects. And they have so much knowledge. Like, I would consult them as well as they uh, consult me. Okay. We're like more like a family, you know? We grew together and it's so cute because I've never had that that I really love every single person in a program like i normally love everyone that's like my thing i mm. normally don't hate people but you, you know <laughs> yeah it's like you know when people get to know someone and they're like oh i hate this guy yeah yeah i'm normally not like that although i felt like it a couple of times but then i'm like okay that's your issue that's not the problem of the other person got you but in this case i have a special connection to everyone mm. And that makes it so special. But coming back to your question, it was more like um, Brianna, the one who's actually um, leading this program. Okay. And who's helping us with everything and did the program and stuff. She was telling me the same. She was like, hey, Brianna, um, I need to leave, but can you make sure that da 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 da? And I was mm. like, oh, okay, cool. Why shall I do this? She's like, I feel like you're the leader. <laughs> 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 that was so cute. So I really appreciate it. That's I mean, really nice. I mean, just from feedback. talking to you, like, it just, it just comes across that way, you know? 
and then like the way you talk about the programs and stuff so that's just the vibe i get yeah so. because i mean it's probably because i did such programs myself so i can maybe connect a little bit more to the person organizing it got you you know what i mean but as i said the people are crazy and they have so much knowledge and every different area and you can consult them for you no matter what yeah, yeah so it's really really cool so so now that you've uh you started in february but you said you've been to america now a few times and you're gonna see more of it so it's a second time. yeah but i mean the cities now i mean you're gonna see more of it in a few weeks so unfortunately i'm catching you at the beginning of the city ride but what yeah. do you uh yeah what, what do you think of this in contrast to where you live there's a lot of contrast. Yeah. For example, the ecosystem, the startup ecosystem, for example, is different because um, people seem to be more supporting. Like on the one hand. Hey, where, where you're at or here? No, here. Okay. Yeah. Um, because we feel like everyone's willing to help. This one day we had the mission to go out randomly and yeah. ask people to help with a few questions. Like uh, if they can tell us how they feel about couple of things so that we can work on our progr uh, program and on our projects mm. and the people were like they never denied they always said oh yeah sure um but i only got a couple of minutes for example but they never said no you know and eva one of our uh, one of the participants here she did it in austria like yeah. the same thing and she was like no one would talk to us like everyone was like oh i'm busy no i can't oh man right so that's a difference I would say but on the other hand I need to say that it's like I feel like it's more honest critique like uh, Austrians would rather tell you that you're doing something wrong or that something will not work even though they do it like even more than they say it would work because mm. they don't really believe in that and uh, in America it's more like yes you can do this support blah 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 but that might could also end up in that you do something that's really shitty and everyone knew it's not going to happen, but like, you know, constantly supporting and yeah. Well, I feel like that, I mean, especially like when it comes to startups, I think like a lot of us who are here, then we look at startups as like almost like an escape from like, I guess like the normal jobs. Yeah. Um, which ironically, you're, you're gonna work more at the startup, which is funny though. True, true. But, more often than not you're working on something that you have at least a more passionate interest in yeah so i think that might be why like maybe people are more eager to help because it's like oh you're doing something like cool for you or just like something different that's out there versus like ah, right, you're doing the normal thing you know yeah because i think most people probably like whether they're actually going after it or not kind of want to you know, get to that, get to whether it's an actual startup or not, the startup of their life, you know? Yeah. So yeah. they don't have to live some of these mundane lives that sometimes we have to go through. So. And also, um, like fun fact, yeah, I did my um, thesis on language and international business. Mm. And during my studies, I was checking a lot of languages and there is such a thing called lengua franca. I don't know how you say it in English yeah, but yeah. that's how I say it in German and it means like English as the language for business you know like no matter what language you normally speak in the company everyone has to speak English mm. there is such a thing and uh, within that I realized that there is um, compared to the German language it's way more free and positive and not male driven as the as the German language because What's when that? you for example say I take a risk it's more like taking a risk could be positive or negative you know you could take a risk and win a lot of money in Vegas or you can take the risk and you can lose a lot of money in Vegas yeah. right whereas in the German language when you say you risk something it's always negative so whenever someone would say are you going to risk that? They do not think about ah. the positive outcome that yeah, yeah, this yeah. could lead to. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this might also be a driver for, um, you know, people in America willing to take risk and the Austrians or Germans that say, oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> that's real interesting. That's, that's something I, I take for granted because I only know English and a little bit of Spanish. Yeah. But the delivery system of the language, like, yeah, could instantly shift it, the perspective of things, yeah. like risk being negative and that's crazy. 
Yeah, that's really crazy. Yeah, I uh, think I think because yeah, right now in certain decisions in my life, I kind of waver back and forth on risk, and I think even using the English language, I probably waver on the negative one a bit too much. Yeah. But you mentioned English as the dominant language of uh, of business. Uh, departs. Uh, <laughs> departs. <laughs> Depends on where in the world you check okay. it out. But um, in the German area a lot, in the you know Norwegian and stuff like the Scandinavian English is normal. Yeah. But the more you go towards Asia, the unnormal it gets because Asian people try to you know focus on their own language because it's like highly linked to culture. Mm. So they're like really trying to get their own languages yeah yeah to the to the companies i mean we always hear uh, me being here i always hear that man sooner or later we're all going to have to learn chinese that, or one of them i don't remember which one the mainland speaks but yeah. mandarin or cantonese it could be because they refuse to speak english obviously and they're like and it's just becoming you know stronger you know more influential yeah. that's crazy like language has so many facets and you could talk like days about language and not really understand it because As I said, it's so highly linked to culture, yeah. and it has so many aspects that you don't even think of. Because when you talk German, you most of the times you don't gender. Like it means you always um, say the male version of a word. Yeah. And that's normal. You know what makes us more male driven, and we're like more. What shall I say? We we work more. We're like all the male attitudes that come to your mind. Yeah, yeah. It's like for the country. Whereas when you check out countries where there is no gender thing, where it's like neutral when you when you say something, it's not like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. I just it's a little complicated to try to. No, no, to I, I get what you're saying because Spanish does that a lot too. Yeah. With the the male and female like pronunciation of things yeah. and stuff. You being over there, the, the, when you realize like English is a dominant for business, did you see that as good or bad, or did you see it good instantly because of what you just said? I don't think it's good or bad. Yeah, yeah. Like I definitely see the positive aspects of having one language within a company. Like things get a lot more effective, and um, you know everyone can read and hear and listen what everyone's saying. Whereas when you have a lot of languages, mm. you always need a translator or a third party or whatever. To actually understand the other person, so it makes everything a little bit harder, and you know it takes more time, etc. So that's one of the positive aspects, I would say. On the other hand, culture is linked to the language, like super tightly. Mm -hmm. So that means just because you read a book and you can read the language doesn't mean you understand the language. So if you would, for example, make a joke. When you're saying like, oh, that was hard, and I say, oh, that's what she said. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, you probably won't get it. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't understand the cultural background and you didn't grow up with it. So there is this other factor. There are like hundred factors, but that was just like one of them. Mm. Yeah. Right. So do you, do you have like your own startup like the way they do? Like I I don't remember everybody's name, but you know some of them had like an app or whatever yeah. or. or Do you have something of your own like that that you're working on, or? Yeah, I'm working on business lunch right now. Oh yes. Yeah. Remember you told me about that. Yeah, it's try like I'm trying to optimize um, going to a restaurant. Like it's two sided actually. On mm. the one hand, I try to help people to eat like more efficient, so that when you go to a restaurant, you don't have to wait for the waiter and for the menu and then choose and blah blah. It takes a lot of time, right? So you end up with like one or one and a half hour in a restaurant that you don't have for lunch actually because you might be busy or you need to go to lectures etc so i try to minimize all that and have an app or a web application where you can check out the nearest restaurant and then you just say whatever you want to eat at which time and when you arrive there your food is ready mm. so trying to minimize the time you need to have lunch in order to let people eat more healthy you know warm and yeah that's it for the one side and for the second side it's for the gastronomy because we struggle in Austria a lot with waiters with good wa waiters yeah. with good cooks and when you know at which time the people are coming and what they're going to eat it's facilitating everything and it gets easier to 
you know, um, cook at which time, how, ma how many waiters do I need? What do I need to uh, buy actually, you know, regarding food? And uh, also you can sell one table mm. three times more when you minimize this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So with that though, there's still waiters, though, right? They're just yeah, but they're just kind of doing everything so that you show up and your food's there, yeah. right? Yeah, they just yeah. don't do the unnecessary things anymore. Okay. Because I mean, it's not necessary that he brings you the card and you're waiting, and you know, okay. maybe he can say hi and then bring you to the table, and that's what you like, you know, that's what what the nice interaction with the waiter is. Mm. He's just nice and you know polite and saying hi and bringing you to the table maybe, and that's it. You don't have to talk more with him. Maybe you say bye or you order something else. And it's also good for the gastronomy because actually the dish that you buy yeah. is not bringing the money. It's the side salad. It's your second Coke. It's uh, the coffee after your meal that actually brings the money and value to the restaurant. Mm. In that system then, is, is there still like, do you still have to tip then or? or? Yes, that's one thing that okay. I want to work on so they can tip like automatically on the app because um, it's very important for the waiters to get tip. That's like really a lot of money for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you say you don't get the money anymore. People get yeah. mad, yeah. What, yeah. what, um, so how does the app like take its cut then? What do you mean? Uh, or like uh, how it is business lens, like where does their cut come from? Oh, what I, how I make money? Yeah, yeah, from, from uh, there, yeah. Uh, per transaction. Like okay. the consumer that goes to the restaurant doesn't pay me. It's the restaurants that pay me for, you know, the marketing and for gotcha. all the things that I do, yeah. So you'd be going through the restaurants themselves and then the restaurants to the people, yeah. Yeah. Right. But I'm working on it and... So is it out over there or... Yeah, yeah or? kind of, but not my startup. There is another one doing that in Austria, so I'm not too sure if I'm going to continue, but mm. I think that should be a thing, like an existing thing, <laughs> you know? Gotcha. And I was like, if no one else does it, I'm going to do it okay. because I really want this. <laughs> but if they do it, I don't mind. Like I can do a whole other project because I'm doing like seven things. Got you, got yeah. you. So, so you sort of just answered it, but, but yeah, just because someone else is doing it, like you're, you're just... I'm good. I got as long yeah. as someone does it. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. And I think that's like the entrepreneurial thing about about this mindset about you know the way of doing things. It's not ego driven. Like yeah. That's my startup. I need to do it, and I want all the money and credits and whatever. It's like, hey, we want to innovate. We want to make the world better and cooler, and that's why we do all this. And if someone else does it cool homie thanks mm. <laughs> and then i don't need to do it i'll do something else to create value i only ask because i think me being like an artist sometimes there's always i feel like there's always someone doing what you want unless you're you know unless it's a rare occasion but more often than not there's always somebody doing a version of what you're doing so now yeah. it's almost like well you're doing it because you like it yeah and you got to kind of put your spin on it versus like that but at the same time i don't know what you're talking about because i hate being like everybody else so I almost yeah. like I do a lot of this stuff like the podcast just because no other musician I know does this. You know what I mean? They just do the music part, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, this makes me different, you know? Yeah. Talking to people, you know? I love so, this, actually. I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. so cool because I said if I want to have a startup, then I want it to be full of people that don't fit into these boxes, you yeah, know, that yeah. we create in society. Like, I don't want this accountant and the marketing and the blah, blah, blah. I want an accountant that does karaoke at night. <laughs> I want the marketing person that loves so to... So bad. I didn't hit you up for karaoke that on Friday. I was supposed to. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. But I couldn't sing right now because... Oh, it's all good. No, my I'm voice just, is like... Since I don't live here, like, when I'm here, I kind of, like, try to do as much as I can. Because Perfect. I don't know when I'm going to be back. That's why I was like, man, I don't even know when I'm going to see you again. If, if... Because you only live in this country. So I was like, let me no get worries. it while I can. Yeah, yeah. Go with the flow. Just yeah, with man. this interview, perfect. I think that's really cool. So yeah, yeah. Not mad. I got you. So I got like these uh, life questions I ask everybody. Tell me. I think it would be real interesting because I don't know you at all. So this would be like cool answers. I have yes. them on here, but I remember the first one. Um, I'm hearing this song right now and this takes me back to my childhood. I was like, <laughs> it's one of the greatest hip hop albums ever. This is... Uh, Nas, by the way, it's the Illmatic album. 
I'm now I'm just talking to whoever here. <laughs> no worries. I love that. I love yeah. music. I could just This sit is here a and New dance. York state of mind. This is track number two. But they're just playing the beat. So I think I'm gonna get away now. But this was like taking me to my childhood. Yeah, me too. This is like, my sister used to uh, listen to all that and it was yeah. like, you know, growing up with all the gangster rap and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. understand it, but I was rapping it. Oh man. But that's not good because you know, I know, I know all the things they're rapping. Yeah. And everyone would look at me like, what does this kid do? Let me, let me, let me you know what's a good this is a good question before I even get to that. Yeah. Um, so is like what's the dominant music over there where, where you're at? Is it uh rap or is it something else? Because raps right now become the dominant of America. Yeah. yeah, I would say, I would say a lot of rap, a lot rap. of mainstream music. Yeah, that I mean Cardi B, of and course, stuff like yeah. that. The you know American I mean? stuff uh, aside, but I mean like st stuff that's local. Uh, oh, local stuff. Yeah, it's it just still like rap. Like it's still because it can still be rap in the language, you know. In Germany, it's yeah. definitely rap okay. for the younger generation. It's like German rap. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a thing now. But um, does it sound like us? Because that now I used to love world music because I see like the different stuff going on. Yeah. I hate world rap because it just sounds like Atlanta rap, but in your <laughs> language. And I'm like, this ain't different at all. It's just as auto tuned. It's just as trappy. Yeah. It's just yeah. it's like this ain't, I don't need to come here no more. You sound yeah. just like us now. Yeah. You look just like us now. I know. Yeah. I know. Totally. <laughs> like, I totally get it because. So. I'm when speaking I primarily song, of the hip hop culture in yeah. over, across the world. It disappoints me now because it's not unique no more as much. I know. Yeah. That's what disappoints me as well. And that's why I feel like, you know, when my little sister um, sings to a mainstream song and I'm like, yeah, yeah. why? <laughs> Can you sing like a cooler song that's like, well, it's funny because it's almost good and bad. To? It's a gift and the curse of like the internet, like. It made everything smaller and now we can get into everything. But now that everybody got into everything, there's only kind of one. Yeah. You know, like... Uh, it's called Amer Americanization in Austria. Is it? Is that what it's called? In I almost Europe, feel actually. like... Uh, I don't remember what the bigger <laughs> word is, but it's... Uh, I almost related to the... What would you call it? Like universal consciousness or, or like the sing... sing I don't want to say singularity because that's like... Yeah, some, I, but, I know but, what you But mean. essentially it's that because like... But that's happened to everything that I was into. Like, I was a big fan of mixed martial arts or mm -hmm. like UFC, most people here call it, but mixed martial arts. And from when it started to now, almost everybody except for like the rare specimens are the same. Like, every, it's the same thing. Like, everybody's I the same. You. It's the oneification of everything. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> I mean, but as you said, it it's has good. positive it's, and uh, negative. Of course, yeah. It's everything in life. Like, we can yeah, see yeah. it both ways. The double we can say, sword. oh my God, that's so cool because... I'm listening to the same song that a guy in Malaysia listens yeah. to right now. Yeah. And that kind of connects you because you you don't seem to have a lot of connection with this guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all of a sudden, you guys listen to the same song. Yeah. That's amazing. The the first uh, music I got in, the first music I was into is hip hop because I grew up in New York. I had no choice. They yeah. beat it into <laughs> me. No <laughs> beat, I really had no choice. I was like, my father was a musician. He tried to teach me guitar. I was very anti-guitar, which... Later on, I learned, yeah. so I kind of regretted it. But it was because growing up, I was just like, hip-hop, like, why do I need this guitar, you know? <laughs> yeah. But then the internet finally started coming. And first music I got into was Korean pop music. But like Korean in 1999. Pop. No. 1999. Like with the crazy costumes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, and yeah, and yeah. And yeah. So yeah. you know Psy, like Gundam style? Gundam yeah. style. I, I have him on VHS. Yeah, I have him on VHS <laughs> from like when he wasn't even fat. He's like skinny. He's like, skinny. Back skinnier. Let's say that. Let's say that. <laughs> like, Crazy. Okay. No, he was definitely, no, he's bigger now compared to like how he was back yeah. then. But I never imagined watching that dude like, this guy's going to be worldwide. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell. I didn't even believe when it happened. I'm oh, like, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Is this a thing now? <laughs> I, I actually ignored that video for weeks, but it kept coming on my feed. You can't the, do shit about it. Yeah, like, yeah. If it goes so, viral, so then I it goes it. viral. That's but it. it's just that I ignored it because... That's what he. I was like, oh, it's another side video. That's what he does. His first single is always something crazy, wacky, with an EDM electronic vibe to it. So I was yeah. like, I pressed. I did hear it like when it came out, yeah. but I don't even watch videos now. I usually just like <laughs> tab video out. Was yeah, crazy. yeah. I didn't watch the video for like weeks. Too. I was like, how come? Until Americans who don't listen to Korean K-pop, I was like, why are you sharing this? And why are you? So I was like, all right, hold on. Let me watch. Let me watch this instead of just hearing yeah. it. And I was like, oh boy, I get it. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> uh, me too. 
I was like, why does everyone listen to this? But now it's easy. Well, like the reason why I brought that up back then, like on Napster, I had to learn. I used to, I didn't have cable growing up. So like I used to, with the bunny ears, the rabbit ears, you know, you know, what the, the antennas on TVs, you know what those on are? TVs? Like oh, you, you would right. put antennas yes, on. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So I would get a Korean station in New York. And I used to watch it. And I used to make fun so of it. So that you can watch Korean TV. Well, yeah, I didn't. I didn't have it for that. But it was. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a mixed population in uh, yeah. in New York, so it was there. Yeah. So I put it on, <laughs> cool. and I was like, "This is weird. This is the only not English channel on here." And I would watch it for fun, like as a joke. <laughs> yeah. But you watch the joke long enough, and you take it serious. Yeah. So I started liking some of the songs. And I used to have to write the language, and, and then I would go to a uh, a store online called Ann Young. Which I think means like hi or something in Korea. Okay. And then I would go through the whole entire Korean alphabet until I found out what it meant in English. And then I would type the English in Napster. But do you understand it now? Like, oh, no, 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 no. I used to, oh, at some point I, I learned like some stuff for the names. So like, oh, this yeah. always means Lee. Yeah. And then Lee, blah, blah, blah. Lee Jung yeah. Hyung or Lee, whoever, you know? That's interesting. Um, now I just go to Spotify and it's all there. I was like, yeah. I don't even got to try no more. This is crazy how yeah. easy it's now. Like, yeah. This is amazing. You don't have to put effort no, in anything you no. do. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing, but it, I was just like, man, it's crazy it how, it, how it normalizes. It does. Me too. Like, I I can speak a couple of languages. How many again? Uh, a lot Four? Of six. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are the six? Um, it's like, I can I'm speak Turkish. like 1.2. That's why I'm like, that's <laughs> 1.2. Uh, see, yeah, how I just I can say, yo no hablo espanol, see? Ah. I just, <laughs> muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you sound better than me already. You sound, <laughs> un poquito. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But my Spanish got even worse. Like, I had some friends yeah. from Argentina and oh. Venezuela. Oh. And I would talk Spanish with them or I would just ask them like, what does it mean? What yeah. do you guys talk? <laughs> and then I would remember it. Got you. But at a certain time when they went back, I had no one to talk Spanish to, you mm. know? But on vacation, blah, 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 I tried it. to catch up and k practice a little, as you said. But it's getting mm. worse and worse because I don't really have that anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a pity actually because I... Uh, Espanol is mi idioma preferida. You gotta watch novelas. And that'll bring you right back in. <laughs> yes, but the thing is, there is like apps that teach you the yeah. language. And that's my point. But now that you know enough, now you can watch novelas is what I'm trying to say. But <laughs> that'll keep you in. Yeah, I watched Narcos. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, gotta be honest with you. I used to watch, you won't know this, but Maria de la Barrio. Um, I know uh, that. Why do you is know this? this? Is this why that? do you know this? Oh my Sarah, god, why, why did you, you watch this? Um, well, my brother watched it, and it's probably because he had a crust on Thalia, but you know, I'm, I'm like <laughs> mad young, so I'm watching it, and then I like it too, and I'm like a child. You were just telling me because you thought I don't know it, right? I, I know I, it, and you it's crazy. You shouldn't know it. You shouldn't. Why are you, why are you over there? Like, why do you know, know this? Why know. Do you know I this? know all the crazy things. Like, I also understand <laughs> jokes I'm not supposed to understand. I don't yeah, know yeah, why. like the, the, you just said one. I forgot what it was. That's what That's, she said. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's my like, favorite joke. <laughs> but I'm like, how does he make sense? Why do you know that? Did you watch it at all? I have or no like... idea. I probably, I've probably seen it. Okay. Or maybe I was interacting so much with the guys mm -hmm. that they probably showed me at one point. You must because watch I'm... this. This is culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is... <laughs> you know, I'm not having like the normal conversation with people. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, the superficial, like the haha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. Like, I really asked them things like, what do you do when you're back home or yeah, what is yeah. the thing that touches you the most and then people open up to you you know mm. and they they tell you things and then you feel like you're part of their lives kind of yeah yeah even if that sounds too much but that's the way i am i got you I got and you. that's why i probably saw this novela Damn. But Narcos, I did myself on Netflix. No one told me that. For sure. Yeah. For, see, that one, I was like, yeah, everybody. I've never seen it. I probably no. won't. It, there's too much to see. Like, where I'm at right now in my life is like creation versus consumption. So I'm like, I'm And in between, create. there is Narcos. No. <laughs> yes, it is. No, in between, there's Marvel movies. That's it. I'm sorry. True, but That's the, it's a little more up. Like, like it's Narcos and then Marvel movies. But you need to know the Plato Plomo. Nah, I can't. I can't. I, I'm too busy. No, I'm too busy making these, man. I'm too, <laughs> I'm too busy making. You can making. watch and do it at the same time. Like, even listening to it, it's so cool. Escobar is the... One day. Maybe one day. Yeah. I always tell myself...
You one will. day, yeah, Swear. there you go. Boom. Yes. One day when I'm rich, <laughs> and I, then I'll do it. But probably not. Because then when I'm rich, I'll probably do like, well, now I can do this more at scale. I'll probably <laughs> no, you have to really. It's so cool. Maybe at some point. I would say like things like that. Here, Here's another embarrassing thing. I have not seen one Harry Potter. So. Same. <laughs> oh, finally. It's rare. I always say like somebody... Like stuff like that, I'll just save it for like, you know, that special someone, like they'll probably want me to watch it or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started yeah. because I felt so embarrassed that I didn't see it and in Austria it's a big thing. Yeah. Dude, I don't care about this shit. I mean <laughs> looking at probably it probably all the people will hate me. I'm uh, so sorry. But at, I mean they usually stop talking to me once I tell them I haven't seen it. But I mean like but like with me, like I look at it and I'm like, I bet you it's something that I could like because it's just it's it's hero's journey and I've watched so much of that. Like why wouldn't it? But it's yeah. just like I'm good. I don't need to see that. But I you think know? it's like, I think it's um, you know people hype it so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you expect like oh, so you want in like this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah. you watch it and it's like this dude running around doing shit and you're like. <laughs> So did something happen? Did you see the Avengers? There was like more action and more plot. And yeah, yeah. I you just good. touched you the microphone. It's fine. I'm sorry, microphone. There you go. <laughs> I'm there a little weird, by the way. Oh, so. it happens. It happens. Don't worry. Yeah, man. But all right, I'm, I'm going to go through them life questions. Yes, questions. Um, Tell me. All right, Take what's you. the first thing? Yeah. What do you believe that other people think you're crazy for believing? Crazy for believing? Yeah, like you believe it, but other people mm-hmm. are like, man... You're crazy. That you can be happy. Wait, what? At any time. <laughs> Why would people think that's crazy? I don't know. People would just, you know, as I said, like, I'm weird, I'm crazy, and I'm happy, and I'm jumping yeah, yeah. around and singing all the time. Like, yeah, you say you have a lot just, of energy. So maybe just, maybe you you spread that so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I have this, uh, like, on campus in Vienna. Yeah. We have this pizza restaurant thing. And uh, I would just walk in there and I wanted to have lunch. And then the waiter just says, oh, hi, hi, back again. And I'm like, that, that's not a thing in Austria. Like, mm. the waiters are not that. And I'm like, oh, do I know you? Yeah, yeah. She was like, oh, no, but you always sing when you enter the restaurant. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, I'm weird as fuck. Like, that's if good. I would that be means you stand there, out. That means you stand out. No, I, I try to control it, but I can't. <laughs> really, but, but I mean, I that's, that's good because I think it's not that we need or want to stand up, but I think it just makes you unique is what I'm trying to say. True. It makes me unique, but yeah. as much weird as unique. So, But weird, but weird is hand. good, right? Is it not? I don't know. You tell me. I think it is. Nice. I think weird. That's why we have this conversation here. There you go. If you would be like, oh, that's a weird. I don't like Yeah, her. yeah. We would have exactly. this conversation. But True. you mentioned something. This is a super important question. Uh, is pizza the same there as it is here? <laughs> or I no? haven't eaten pizza here. Mm. Is pizza even a big thing for you? It's a big Not thing for really. me. I mean, it's on campus. That's why I eat it more Got often you. than I like to. But I guess it's the same. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same. Oh. The only thing, the only weird thing is Coke tastes sweeter here. Because you probably don't have the high fructose corn syrup thing, right? What are you guys using? I have no idea. We have like the normal Coke cans. See, like over, yeah, but but see, like see, we're close to Mexico, so like, uh, or Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. We, um, so a lot of times, if I'm going to get a Coke, it needs to be the Mexican Coke. Because and the Mexican they have Coke the sugar. is sweeter? Yeah, it has sugar. But here, the normal default is going to be high fructose corn syrup, which I'm sure you've heard America. We we dump it in everything. America. Yeah, America. <laughs> <laughs> but um, damn, so that's interesting too. I wonder what you, what y'all use over there. But anyway, next one I mean, is you have to you have to come and you know taste it. At I some point, tell at some point, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's my way to bring you to Austria. Yeah, like here it is. You've been waiting for years. Pizza yes. and Coke. And then you're like. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit that's the same thing as we have it <laughs> then you're like, disappointed yeah. playing back <laughs> no but to end my story actually the Do singing it. blah blah people were always asking me like since I'm a child like okay, maybe not a child maybe a teenager uh, did you do drugs? no <laughs> like also <laughs> Also, if they mean it like in a funny way, yeah. they kind of implicate that it's not normal how I am. Got you. How I am. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. all the energy and stuff. Yeah. So I guess that's the that's the thing people see, but that's good. So all those things you're doing though, this and that, that yeah. that a lot of energy and, and but this is why 
like me and and i can't remember who you just said it but this is why we're like man so are you the leader because you stand out more you know so like that's really cute of you thing yeah that's why i said like the weirdness the uniqueness it can especially when it's when it's you being called that like that stuff might feel like maybe uncomfortable but but that's the same stuff that makes you stand out so that's the, really cool yeah man thank you so much so i think we should tell each other more like what we like about each other yeah man tell i like me. that a lot i yes. do it all the time tell me something you know like about me even though you don't know too much <laughs> tell me something i can tell you that i really love about you that you do music and the podcast thing there like, you go You're unique, you There know. You I never met someone doing that. Yeah, and I yeah. think it's so cool that he would just come to me and say, "Hey, let's do a podcast." Well, I don't meet too many people. Well, I mean, technically I did because you're all here, but normally I don't meet too many people from Vienna. So like do There it while go. I can. That's what I was saying. I was like, how many times is this going to happen unless I yeah. actually go over there and I don't know when that's in the schedule. But right he could now. have asked like everyone else. We're yeah, 14 but people here. From talking to you You seem like you enjoy talking to us and because we started talking to other people and I'm not to say that they didn't enjoy it. Yeah. But I think it was just, you know, like you seem like, oh, you like this. So I was like, I really you. do. That's why. <laughs> yeah. But that's also like the weird part of me. I would just talk to a random guy and I would like enjoy it. There you go. Or a girl like. Yeah. I always see guy as a neutral thing, but it's just the male people, right? Um. Yeah. I think yeah, like if we're gonna say like, hey guys, then it would it can mean both. Okay, cool. But it is also means male. Okay. But I think now in like uh, PC times, yeah, yeah, we probably need to say guy and girl. <laughs> like, okay, so I did everything right. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Perfect. perfect. Okay, now you what, can come to your is, other question. I'm sorry that no, I'm no, no, interrupting. No, 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 no. There is no wrong here, man. There is <laughs> only more. You know. Okay. Um, what is your goal in life? My goal in life. Yeah. To be happy. How does one go about doing that? One goal about doing it is to come to Austin, talk to a stranger, and do go. a podcast, <laughs> and listening to music, and you know, doing all the weird stuff. Yeah, <laughs> man, for sure. I'll let you slide easy with that one. I'll let you. <laughs> I don't even know if the people hear the music, so it will probably just be me randomly. I, I would, uh, yeah, hopefully not. Like I, 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 I'm like, yeah, like you said, I do music, so I, like, I know a lot about audio, so like. If it's in here, it'll probably be very minimal. Yeah. One, copyrighted. But yeah, two, our voices are so close. Like, yeah. I should be able to remove the background noise. Yeah. So. But guys, there is music. Yeah, like, I'm she's, not that, music. she's not that crazy. <laughs> she's not, uh, three things you're thankful for in life. Three things? Yeah. My family, my friends, and all the opportunities I have in my life. Mm. I really appreciate that. Gotcha. Yeah. Where you see yourself three years in the future? Three years in the future? Yeah. Hmm. That's a hard question. I'm struggling with that. Mm. Because I don't know where I'm heading to. I know wrong It's with like, that. I try to cut it down to shorter periods of time. Yeah. Because it's hard for me to say because, you know, I'm 25. Yeah, yeah. I'm changing every day. And I, I try to find out what what's more fun, what I like more, where I want to be, where I want to live, with whom I want to hang around, right? Mm. So every day is a new day for me. And so it's really hard to say what I do want to do in three years. The only thing I can say is I want to do what makes me happy. Got you. Where you see yourself tomorrow? tomorrow <laughs> On a plane going to... <laughs> in the plane, yeah. going to San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is... And honestly, I expected that because it's like, man, you guys are startup people. That company might not be around for <laughs> three years. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, if you would ask the others, yeah, maybe yeah. they have a perfect answer to that. Maybe for it's sure. just me. So try to really cut it down. For example, in one year, like yeah. that's a, yeah, one year is okay. Yeah. Um, I want to finish my master's degree. Mm. I'll probably have finished that. I feel like all of you, from the few I talk to you, are all getting like, yeah, at least minimum master's. I'm like, damn. But that's like the system over there. Okay. The people don't fuck with you if you don't have the degrees and stuff, right? Got you. So you always need to be a master at PhD whatsoever. So don't think about it too much. It's not like, first okay. of all, it's free. That's <laughs> yeah, a cool yeah, thing yeah. about it. We don't have to pay for it. So it's easier, you know, to educate ourselves. Got you. And the second thing is people judge you if you don't have it. So mm. we need to do it in order to be equal to mm. other people doing business. That's so, interesting. I never again, heard that. Positive and negative yeah, aspects yeah. in life. It's free because it's free. Everybody has it, so you almost need it now. Yeah. That's interesting. That's badass. 
and and not at the same time. <laughs> True. Uh, True. What is the perfect day? The perfect day? Yeah. Every day is a perfect day. Mm. Every day. How come? I appreciate everything that happens in my life, and I, I never regret something. Like I don't look back and say, "Shoot, <laughs> shouldn't have done that." Although there is one thing in my life, it's super stupid. Yeah. But it was like so important for my life. I uh, used to sing in a chorus. Is it called a chorus? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, Choir, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, and. We were having, um, uh, oh damn, I never said those things in English. Um, we were on stage. Okay. And we were acting and singing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like and doing a show or something? Yeah, we were doing a show. Okay. Yeah. And um, then there was this one girl and she was supposed to stand up and sing the last part. But she didn't do it. Yeah. And we didn't know where she was. And I had a microphone in my hand. Because I was singing, you know, the back chorus things and blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I should go up and do it. And I was singing so long that another girl stood up and did ah, it. And I was like. Took your moment. Shit. <laughs> but I was struggling with myself, you know, like, do I know the lyrics? Will I do it right? And blah, blah, blah. And instead of thinking, what could be the worst thing that could happen to you? What could have been it? Like, I was a small child. I could just stand up and it was like, oh, that's so cool of her that she's trying to do it, right? Yeah, yeah. But I was struggling so much with myself that I didn't do it. And after this point, I was like, you know, I never want to have this feeling again. Mm. I want to try it. I maybe want to say, oh, damn, that was not good at all. But I want to give myself the chance to be that good, you know, to do what I want to do. Even if I fuck it up, like I want to be confident enough and say like, yeah, fucked it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? <laughs> you know, I had the balls and I was standing up and trying to do it. What did you guys do? Yeah. So yeah, fun fact, two days ago, there was in a bar in Austin, um, there was this local band singing and uh, playing the guitar. And the people I hang out with, they were like, oh, you should go there and sing and pushing me. I'm like, okay, why not? And my voice was like this, so super crappy. Yeah, super, yeah, yeah. I know that it's going to sound awful, but I was like, why not? Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I know that it's going to be awful, but I'm going to have fun. Then I was there, and I just see these 13 people putting their phones like this and recording me, and they were so happy. Like, you know, the parents of a child that, <laughs> you know, yeah, is yeah, the yeah. first whatever. And yeah, like, yeah. And then I came back, and they were like, all hugging and kissing me and everything. And I was like, I know it was shitty because my voice, yeah, I yeah, yeah, just yeah. fucking lost my voice. But this moment was so beautiful. That's badass. I talk a lot. No, that, but that's the whole point <laughs> of a podcast. I know. I feel like you're very comfortable with yourself, but you're also self-conscious of yourself. Yeah, I am. Which is ironic. <laughs> I try to be, I try to be, yeah. <laughs> But no, but that's the whole point. Like, like, I'm always telling people, like, the less I talk, the better. Because that's the whole point. Because I'm here all the damn time for every <laughs> yeah. damn show. Not here, but yeah, I'm on every damn show. Okay, so they will good. get me every eventually. You know what I mean? If you get a headache, just tell me. No, no, like, you're okay. good. But um, damn, you said something there, but now we started talking about this. So I forgot. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. So the story about the, the choir. Yeah. That is your defining moment. Like you even say it as your defining moment. Yeah, like I guess so. that that so all this weirdness, like I, you seem to like it, but all this weirdness is seems to be that moment because yeah. you missed it and you're like never again. So now I'm gonna yeah. do this like all the time because yeah. I'm getting all the moments. If they're not here, I'm making the moments. Yes, yes, <laughs> true, true, absolutely true. Yeah, I'm like fuck this so before you, I regret that I didn't do it. Do and see what happens. So yeah, you found the origin story. That's crazy. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. I guess so. That's badass. Because <laughs> you know when you don't try, you fail anyways, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you never know if think, you're going to win or lose. Uh, Wayne Gretzky, uh, there's this Wayne Gretzky quote where it's like, uh, you miss all the shots you don't take or yes. something like that. <laughs> yes, definitely. I 100% agree with him. Or if it's not him, some hockey player said it. Some yeah, <laughs> anyone. Or Einstein or someone. Yeah, yeah. It's so important. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and another thing yeah. that I love. There is a thing, uh, I have no idea who said it. But everyone said it couldn't be done unless someone came and did it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know that? 
Because that's in my LinkedIn profile. <laughs> that's cool. Because like I might be saying the same thing, but like everything pretty much is stupid until someone says it, you know. Yeah. Or until someone yeah. does it, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like you can't Get do it till you do it. Yeah. It's like, and, it's and true. I see this all the time. Yeah. All the time. If you believe in it, yeah. it's So true. And when I, that is the most minimal thing. Like that is, people won't even care, but I do. So there was this one girl at university trying to push a door. Yeah. And she couldn't do it. She was like, and then she felt stupid and went away, right? Yeah. She was like, oh, and then I went to the door and she was like, oh, it doesn't open. <laughs> and said, oh, okay, thanks. I'll try it anyways. And she yeah. would look at me like, I just told her that it doesn't work. So what the fuck? And I went there and I just understood how to do it. And I could pass. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> maybe it didn't work out for you but you know yeah, <laughs> yeah. different technique maybe or whatever i don't know but you need to try also if other people fail also if you fail you know <clears throat> when you try something and you fail and then you never do it again because you think you're not good in it mm -hmm. or you're not enough or whatever then you're never going to be successful just mm. need to retry and do it again and try to do it again because Every day in life, you get better and, you know, more successful and you change, et cetera, et cetera. And that's crazy. There was this one story. Talking so much. Do it. Do it. <laughs> keep There was it. this one story. My best friend. She's the coolest person. Yeah. Shout out to Ika. <laughs> um, she would just, um, I'm having a hard time sleeping, like falling asleep, actually. And she would just send me voice messages with stories that she's currently reading. Mm. They're like short stories. And I really love them because at one of them they say in circus, you know, the big elephants that um, that have this, I don't know what it's called. It's not a chain, but a thing in in the ground. Like that, wait, the elephants have a- Yeah, you know, the elephant has something on his leg and he's tied to it. Oh, like- But it's like a small thing in the ground. Like it's wooden. What do you call it? Damn, I don't know. I know what you mean, like a, like a big nail. Or like, like But you know what I yeah, mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good. Then everyone else should know it too. Yeah. And... It's what's keeping them there, right? That's yes. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever wonder why? Because this elephant weighs tons. Oh, yeah. And if he would just move his arm or leg or whatever it is, he would escape. Yeah. Did you think of it? No. No? No, no. I'll tell you something. Do it. When baby elephants are super small, yeah. they get into circus. And then they get this thing, this chain and this nail, <laughs> let's yeah, say yeah. nail. And they try to, you know, pull it and push it and escape. And they would do it over and over and over again until they realize they can't escape. And then after years and years and years, they don't try anymore. Because they think of the time that they tried it and failed and failed and yeah, failed yeah. and they were exhausted and was like, I can't do this. But by the time the elephant gets huge, you know, tons of weight and he's so immense and strong and everything, but he doesn't believe that he can just pull it away. That's why he doesn't do it. Mm. And that's what I believe. No one should be like that. That, that um, yeah, pretty much that's... uh knowledge is power and you only know what you know you know yeah so yeah you need to try yeah it was the same thing like i always i don't know if i told it to you but i told it to i tell it to a lot of people but like <laughs> I, i lived in new york for 18 years right yeah I, and you i always always hear all these stories i listen to hip-hop like new york's horrible place and scary and you see the news and the tv and blah 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 yeah um i, I grew up in the bronx so like that borough oh i see yeah you're like, <laughs> there's a nice zoo i heard My sister used to work there in the really? Bronx Zoo. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so I was never afraid. I, I I think I had a great childhood. Yeah. But, you know, I came over here, right? I live here and maybe like, I don't know, four or five years later, I go back to New York for the first time. And I feel this feeling in my heart. And I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm like, ah, is that fear? You know, because like, like, I was like afraid. And I was You're like, afraid? I get it now. But I was never afraid growing up because I had like, <laughs> I get it now. I, well, it's because like I had no comparison for contrast because I thought that was normal. All this stuff going on yeah. there. So it's like, you don't know it's bad until it's bad, you know, like until yeah. without that comparison. So it's yeah. like, 
but that was fed to me when I was younger. So in my yeah. opinion, like, oh yeah, like you wear red, you're like, yeah, that's normal. You're always here a guy who wears red, you know, gangsters and all that. Yeah. I'm like, but until like you don't see that and you see people say hi to you and all this stuff, and then I go back and you see the other stuff going, I'm like, but did oh. you feel bad about? No, my childhood was things? still badass. You know, I was out, but now I know I was very lucky. <laughs> because i was just always like eking out of situations like uh that could have been far worse um but yeah but i was just saying that to say that like i didn't know i didn't know to feel like sad or bad because i only knew that and that was fine you know that's okay yeah yeah no and that that was okay but i was just it was just my comparison to the elephant thing like you only know what you know and if you know only this then this isn't bad you know yeah so true that but yeah. <laughs> you have other questions? Is the last one. Bring them on. Uh, it's a three parter though. It's called, right. uh, and two of them might be hard based on what you told me, because you say you have no regrets. But for the last year, uh, I like that I did, I wish I had done, and I wonder what would have happened if. But just what was for the, the first last one? year. Hold on. Yeah, no, I'll what do one at a time. I'll do it. Okay, but okay, for cool. the last year, I like that I did. Organizing the Entrepreneurship Avenue. Okay. That was really, really cool. An amazing experience. Mm. And you grow so fast. And you learn so many things at a short period of time. Mm. You try I like, I had a team of 34 or five people. Yeah. And before I never had to be a leader or a boss or whatever you call it. Yeah. I was unconsciously but never like, this is the head, mm. you know? And then it was like present. <coughs> and the thing was, everyone was a master's student. Not everyone, but almost. Yeah, yeah. And I was an undergrad, like bachelor's student. Mm. So that was also a challenging thing, I would say. Although the people are so nice. Yeah, yeah. They were really cool people. Yeah, that was the thing. That's cool. I wish I had done. I wish I had done. Just for the last year again. Just the last year. I don't know. I really don't. I know. Based on you saying you have no regrets, I'm like, all right, well, she's going to be, she's not going to have nothing for these. <laughs> I actually do what, I, what I'd like to do. And if Which I don't do it. Yeah, that's good. Like sometimes you don't have time, you're busy and blah, blah, blah. And I'm so doing so many things that I work a lot. Yeah, yeah. But when I feel like I want to do something really bad and can't do it, I yeah. just write it down. So that it can make it another day when I'm free, for example. Got you. So then you probably have no answer for the last one either. Then I wonder what would have happened if. Hard one as well. Mm. That's fine. That's good. Because that means you, that you're living your life to your fullest that you want to do anyway. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's like so subconscious that it doesn't come to my mind. You maybe know what that I mean? too. Maybe that too. You never know. Um, but I hope it's the first one. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Well, tell me one thing about over there that I'll never know unless I go over there. That I never would have known just being here, you know? The taste of real schnitzel. Okay, what's that? Schnitzel? Yeah, yeah. It's actually pork. Okay. Is that the, like the wiener schnitzel you hear about here? Yes. Okay. That one. All right, the taste. Yeah. Got you. Because I heard from other participants that they tasted wiener schnitzel in America. Yeah. And they said, Bleh. <laughs> it was the craziest thing I ever had. He was even complaining at the restaurant what the fuck that was. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is this? That's not Wiener Schnitzel. I was like, dude, you were complaining. You're so Austrian. <laughs> Leave the people alone. That's why I was asking about pizza because obviously you're not living in Italy, but I always hear pizza is there or something else. So I'm like, I was it's like, super oh, thin. I just you probably won't like it because like, the thick pizza is American style. Right? But it, uh, in New York, it's also super thin too. So is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so then you know it. All right. Well, There's nothing well. you can do so much different. All right. Well, you that. just took that surprise away from yeah. me. <laughs> Sorry. You nah, should you go good. to Turkey. Okay. Okay. You know all the Turkish food. You probably never ate Turkish food. I probably haven't. I probably haven't. But see, one Istanbul day. it is. Istanbul. Okay. <laughs> I think we're at the end finally. So if you want people to find you online, where can they find you? They can find me on LinkedIn, mm. but that's a little more business. If they want to see my a little bit more crazy, but also <laughs> entrepreneurial side, I would tell them to follow me on Instagram. Yeah. It's B underline epic with a C. 
Okay. Because my burn, uh, my name is Burna Epic. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like that could be like a, a rapper thing too, because yeah. you could pronounce the way you say it. It could be like burn an epic, you know. I so. could be a rapper. That's why. <laughs> like my parents were like, "Whoa, that girl's gangsta. <laughs> <laughs> we got a name her Burna." <laughs> there you go, man. Yeah. All right. Last words. Facebook. Oh, burn okay. an keep epic going, keep with going. a K. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Last. Uh. Last words. Last words. Yeah. Yeah. I should say something really impactful and you nice. You do what you want. Strong. Some people don't. You eat it. <laughs> bacon tastes amazing here. There you go. Yo, bacon my, does taste my, amazing. Yeah. Bacon does taste amazing. And I say that because he does his sound tests like this one two <laughs> one two thing with what was it? Bacon, bacon and steak. Bacon, steak, chicken, all that <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, he was like. Bacon, steak, chicken. And yeah, like, man. Those are foods. <laughs> yeah, those are true. <laughs> wow. You're amazing. Well, I mean, because cause for, for things that are always like the same or mundane, like I always have to, like I just told you, I, I like to be different even yeah. if it's silly. Like, so like sound check one, two, three, like being at so many shows, I was like, this is so stupid. So, <laughs> Why like, doesn't someone say bacon? <laughs> well, yeah, I was just like, well, if you can, because in theory, like they just need sound. They don't, yeah. it doesn't matter what I say. So yeah. if, if it doesn't matter, as long as I'm doing a thing, that's usually when I break things. So that's why I guess verbally, that's how I'm breaking that. Yeah. I'm like, I'm supposed to do one, two. It's like, no, bacon, chicken, steak. Or sometimes <laughs> no. for the last podcast, I just had him rap and then I rapped after him. That's why I was asking you to rap too. Yeah, so we did like, it. <laughs> we did it. But we didn't record it, right? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. So that, that, you got to be here for that one. Uh oh, freestyle. Are you going to do something? I'm doing the the. Are oh, you doing part. the beat? I'm supposed to rap. And I'm horrible at it, I know it, so don't be hating. I'm supposed to rap? Yeah. All right, here, I'll try it. I'll edit it out if it sucks, but I won't. All right, Miss Epic on the beats. I'm here with my sneakers, with my feet. Damn, I can't do this with that beat. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. Right, right, hold on. Okay, I'll just do freestyle. Beat. I'll just, or just do it. Oh, slower. All right. She's doing this slower. She's an entrepreneur, a grower. How am I supposed to rap like this? Up in public, I'm in Austin, Texas. And I'm doing it for the one overseas. I wanted to say bitch please, but not offensively. <laughs> <laughs> we should stop doing this. Yeah. <laughs> I suck at beatboxing. Oh, it's good, it's good. <laughs> I, I'm still like, I'm still, I'm just self-conscious at freestyle every now and then. So sometimes yeah. I'm good and sometimes I'm not. But I'm working on it. <laughs> Hashtag normal human life. Ah, That's how things work. to be normal? Sometimes I'm really good at beatboxing. There People you are like, go. Oh, you know how to beatbox? I'm like, you, yeah. You, you, you are fine. <laughs> it's just me. I'm over here thinking all the stupid human stuff that we think. Like, oh, what's this guy over here going to think about? Even though it doesn't matter. You know it what I mean? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But that's it. Don't worry. But thank you for doing this. Thank you for yeah. having me uh, here. If you love the sound check, you're going to love how I end this. Do it. Bake that chicken, smoke that turkey. Boosh. Boom. <laughs> I'm from Turkey. <laughs>
let my heart sing, ignore the phone ring That tell me to go where everyone is Life you can't control the kid Spend a life flirting with the local music biz Biggest waste of time, what a piece of shit But still one after it Or rather I got caught up in it Instead of doing what I like Cause it's what I wanna do Caught up with crew, chasing other dreams Can't tell the difference between me and you Had to disappear and gather up the crews Put myself back together to the old boots I once knew But something better, I wanna be here forever A legacy, a love letter Let you know it wasn't just for the cheddar Lost in the nexus, a bigger is better Business degree, go chase the cheddar But make sure you do it at a 9 to 5 level Don't forget your shovel, when you're working for master Please make my pockets fatter and fatter Can't believe we do this for a living crazy like Mad Hatter Thoughts like my brains, I should splatter Enter my mind, bored with a daily routine Who am I fooling? Myself trapped in the circle of life Elton once said, now it's filled with strife But my heart's still filled with fight And on this night, I swear to right these wrongs Therapy through song, follow me along Stay high, stay high, stay high